Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you how to fix slow internet speeds in Windows 11. So before we dive in into any solutions, just make sure to restart your PC. As simple as it may sound, it will solve a lot of problems. To do that, just press the Windows button, then select the small power icon and then click on the restart option. This will restart your PC and then you can check if the problem still persists. So the first solution is to lower the bandwidth for downloading updates. To do this just press the Windows button then select the settings app and then on the left pane make sure to scroll down and select Windows update and then on the right pane click on advanced options. Now scroll down until you find and select the delivery optimization. In here make sure to disable the toggle for allow downloads from other PCs and then click on advanced options. Now, under Absolute Bandwidth, tick the checkboxes for allocation of bandwidth to download the updates in the background and foreground and then enter the desired value in the respective fields. You can also go with the percentage of measured bandwidth method and use the slider to set the desired setting. Now you can scroll down and tick the two checkboxes under Upload Settings. You can also use the slider to set the desired bandwidth for uploading updates and monthly upload limit. Another useful solution is to terminate processes consuming data. To do this, right-click the Windows button, then select Task Manager from the list of options. In here, just navigate to the Performance tab and then click on the Open Resource Monitor at the bottom. Next, just go to the Network tab in the Resource Monitor window and then locate the programs that are consuming way too much data, right-click on them and select the End Process option. Now check if the problem still persists. You can also disable apps from running in the background. To do this, just press the Start button, then select the Settings app, and then on the left pane, make sure to select the Apps from the list of tabs, and then on the right side, just click on Apps and Features. Now locate the app that you don't want running in the background. For example, we will use the Calculator app, click on the ellipsis next to it, and then select Advanced Options from the menu that appears. Next, just click on Let this app run in the background drop-down menu, and select Never from the list of options. Another great solution is to run the Internet Connections Troubleshooter. To do this, just click on the Windows button and then select the Settings icon and then make sure to select System on the left pane and then on the right side scroll down until you find and select the Troubleshoot settings. Now click on Other Troubleshooters and lastly click on the Run button next to Internet Connections to launch the Troubleshooter. Now Windows will try to find any possible issues with your network connections. Another great solution is to turn off the metered connections. To do this, press the Windows button, then select the settings icon, and then on the left pane, make sure to select network and internet, and then on the right side, click on Wi-Fi or Ethernet, depending on the network type. Now click the network that you're connected to, and then on the right side, make sure to disable the toggle for metered connection. And another great solution is to change the DNS server. To do this, press the Windows button and simply type ncpa.cpl and select it as a command from the search results. Now just right-click on the connected network adapter and then select the Properties option from the context menu. In here, select Internet Protocol version 4 from the list of options and then click on the Properties button. Just tick the checkbox for Use the following DNS server addresses and make sure to type in the following addresses. In the preferred DNS server, you have to type 8888 and then in the alternate DNS server, just type 8844. After making the changes, just click on the OK button and then restart your PC. And that's it. Plenty of options to consider in the long run. As usual, for more information and details, you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.